Welcome to another video from inzara.com. In today's video, we will be doing a demo of the stock portfolio tracker Excel template. This template can be downloaded from inzara.com for free, and you can use this to enter all your stock transactions and immediately see the stock portfolio dashboard, which summarizes the overall performance. You can even see the individual stocks and their performance as well. So now let's get started. To start with, let's begin in the transaction sheet. There are only two visible sheets in this um, Excel template, the portfolio dashboard and the transaction. So we'll begin with the transaction sheet because this is where you will be entering all your stock transactions. So we have the transaction date, ticker symbol, type of transaction, number of units or the quantity of uh, um, the stock transaction and then the price of each of the stock you traded. And then there are some calculated columns. So only these five fields are needed as input from the user as in the transactions table. Before you enter the your own transactions, when after you download the template, please enter the starting cash balance. This template can also keep track of your cash balance in your stock management account. In addition to the market value of the stocks you hold, you can also keep track of the balance, cash balance. So to begin with, start entering the starting cash balance here. I've entered ten thousand, you know, dollars here as an as a, to illustrate. And then we begin entering the each transaction. So for example, on April, uh, I think I have to scroll up here. On April first, Tesla stock. There was a buy transaction, which meant that I bought five units of tesla stock at a price of 97.25 each and then all these co other columns are calculated columns to explain what that means the low indicates the low price for tesla on that day of april 1st 2020 and then the high indicates the high price and you can see the formulas here um, on how we get that this requires um, if you are either using the free Excel for the web product, which you can use it on the browser for free or any of the Microsoft 365 or Office 365 plans will allow you to pull this live data from the service about the stock market um, information for all these stocks. The next information we have here is valid or not. So I entered this just as a checkpoint to say, if I enter a value for the price, let's say I say it's hundred, I bought it for hundred dollars. Now it's still valid. That's okay. But sorry, I think I should have chosen hundred and five. And now it'll say it's an invalid transaction. Again, it doesn't prevent any further downstream. Imp there's no impact. It'll still calculate everything fine because you saw that the amount got calculated anyway. So the invalid valid is just a warning signal. If you have mistakenly entered a wrong price, then it acts as a checkpoint. But uh, other than that, it doesn't prevent from doing any activities in the template. So I'm going to go back and enter 97.25 again, which was the price that I bought at, let's say, uh, and then it'll say valid. So that's one purpose of the valid field to make sure that the amount or the price you entered is correct. Then there's also one more uh, necessity or purpose of the valid column, which is to make sure that you have entered the required information. What is required information? So now let's talk a little bit about the different types of transactions to make that clear. Buying a stock is only one of the seven possible transactions. So you can sell a stock, you can do a cash deposit withdrawal on all this. So let me just quickly tell you what those seven transaction types are, and then we'll come back to the valid field. Transaction types are buy, when you're buying a stock, it basically takes money from your cash account or the cash balance and increases the stock quantity and value. So basically the you're taking the money from your cash account and converting them into stocks. That's it. When you are selling a stock, it increases the cash balance because you are decreasing the stock quantity because you're selling it and that money gets converted into cash. Cash deposit is when you are adding cash from your personal checking or a savings account into the stock management platform here 
for using to trade uh, using them to trade stocks then that's a cash deposit it will increase your um, cash balance cash withdrawal is when you take the money from your stock management platform let's say you make some profit your cash balance um, you know when you started with 10000 maybe it's increased to 15000 now you have extra profit that you can then withdraw from this and take it away um, into your personal savings or checking account that's cash withdrawal fees is when you are you are when there are any fees being applied on the stock management platform that will reduce the money basically you're paying from your cash in um, into the platform uh, or application as fees or any type of fees it basically reduces your cash balance dividend payout is when um, you receive money or cash as dividend from your stock so it increases your stock um, the cash balance because it's it's not um, a dividend reinvestment which is the next type of transaction where the dividend is issued as stocks not as cash in that case when it's dividend reinvestment it increases the stock quantity and it also increases thus your market value but the cash balance is not impacted so those are the seven types of transactions that the template can handle so when i say for example i've entered a cash deposit here then i don't need to enter um, a stock symbol right so i haven't entered a ticker symbol for this cash deposit transaction because that's not needed but let's say i have a let's say i have a buy transaction and i say i didn't enter tesla now it'll say invalid even though i have entered five units and the price of each of the stock but i i can i mean it's it will give a signal of invalid because i have not entered the ticker symbol so this is what i meant by required fields certain transactions require certain fields for it to be properly valid and that's what this valid column actually checks for um, so it's just making sure that the data is good quality and it acts as a reminder if by mistake you miss something or you type the wrong thing in it helps you with the clean data okay now moving on transaction amount it's pretty straightforward if you are buying or selling stocks then units times price that's the amount transaction amount but if you are doing a cash deposit or a cash withdrawal then the units doesn't matter we just take whatever is in the price so we in this case for example we deposited five thousand dollars of cash into the cash account and it's all we need is the price and what type of transaction and the date we don't need the you know number of units or the stock symbol so that's um transaction amount is taking into account what type of transaction and then calculating correctly the amount total amount of that transaction the last one is the cash balance so this is a running cash balance um, this requires you to enter the data in chronological order meaning the transaction date should be in ascending order if for example you entered it in a different order you can always come back and sort oldest to the newest not a problem and only when it's sorted that way the cash balance will be correct so for example we started with ten thousand dollars in this um, template and after the first transaction the our cash balance is only nine thousand five hundred and thirteen why is that because now we bought tesla stock for four hundred and eighty six dollars twenty five cents now the remaining is this the next week we bought walt disney company stock five units for five hundred and one dollars and five cents now my balance is decreasing so every time when you you know buy a stock the cash balance is going to go down and then when you sell a stock for example here i sold five units of apple and now it says my cash balance went from 1263 to 1671 and that's because now i have um, sold apple stock and converted that into cash into my cash account then your cash balance will increase similarly when you add cash deposit to your account the cash balance will increase when you withdraw cash then it will reduce so that's how um, the running cash balance is uh, provided you can use this to see how the cash balance has increased or decreased over time uh, if you want to just do a you know check or understand how that's trended over time now that is everything in the transaction sheet um, there is uh, i'm going to 
skip over now to the portfolio dashboard sheet but just keep in mind that this transaction is the only place where you're going to enter data there's nothing for you to enter in the portfolio dashboard all your data entry is just these five columns that's it there's no more just enter your stock transactions in five values that's it everything else is automated for you in this template now let's go into the portfolio dashboard let's talk about the left side first the left side indicates the overall summary so I can see my total market value is $17,226. This is all my stocks that I have added them all for the total market value right now is that amount. Total gain or loss is how much money I have gained or lost um, among all of the you know stocks. How much total money have I gained? The cash um, and, and again, the total gain or loss is purely based on just the um the amount associated with the stock so it doesn't take into account any of the um you know fees at this point um the fees are not included and uh, dividend dividends are not factored in it's purely looking at as i think i've mentioned here the current value of all your stocks minus how much money you have invested in buying those stocks that's what um that's being used so that's the total gain or loss. Cash is the cash balance in your account. And again, when you buy stocks, you know, the cash balance will go down. When you sell stock, the cash will go up. Now, on uh, to the right of this is the market performance. So I have shown three different market indices and how they are performing today, whether the, the, the points have increased or decreased. And then your portfolio. So based on what we currently have as stocks, how much it has changed today um, in, in dollar amount in also as a percentage. So this is the um, your portfolio performance today. And then this is a breakdown of your total portfolio, how much of that you have in stock versus ETF. Um, and then if you if Excel cannot pull what type of instrument it is, then it may say not available. Uh, right now we don't have any, but if in case uh, in your in your portfolio, it may come up here. So I have made it clearly visible. Then we have the industry breakdown. This is where all the stocks that you currently hold, how much money is in which uh, industry. And in that you can see that this is a portfolio mix. On the right side of the dashboard is where you have all the individual stocks that you have ever sold or uh, bought and uh, everything in the transactions will come up here. And then you can actually say, what is the you know symbol and the quantity that you currently own and then what was the last price how much the price has changed uh, today what is the percentage change what is the current value the current value is nothing but the quantity um, sorry the current value is the current quantity times the last um, price so quantity times price will give you the current value and then how do we determine the quantity total quantity you we bought minus total quantity we sold and then any dividend reinvestment that you have received as stocks will also get counted so for example in the case of apple there was a there was a 0.2 quantity of dividend reinvestment according to the transactions that i entered that's why you see 5.2 uh, and again please uh, share your thoughts if you are an expert in this uh, how the dividend reinvestments work and everything again i'm not an active trader and so i am using sample transactions here to illustrate how this works um, but i would really love to get uh, any feedback you may have on this the today's um, we'll talk about today's gain loss next the current value minus what was the previous close times the current quantity so for all the stocks that you own today what was the value yesterday and then we you know subtract that from today's value and then we gain today's gain or loss today's gain the percentage um, of today's gain loss is nothing but take the uh, today's gain loss uh, percentage of today's gain loss equal today's gain loss divided by yesterday's value i think that was a typo on my part i need to change this to this is the previous value um, that we have we will be doing the percentage on um, and then we have the total gain loss which is the current value minus total invested amount 
Invested amount is the total amount used to buy the stock minus total amount used to sell the stock. The percentage total gain loss is total gain loss divided by the invested amount. So that's how we calculate the total gain loss and the percentage total gain loss. And finally, the cash available, uh, this is the cash balance that we have calculated here, is nothing but the starting cash balance minus all the amount that you use to buy stocks, minus all the cash withdrawal that you've done, uh, minus all the fees you've paid, plus all the amount that you, um, you know, uh, of you gained by selling stock, and then all the cash that you've deposited, plus any dividend payout that you received. This is how we calculate the cash available. So all of this, again, when you download the template, you'll be able to see it. I'll also put all these calculations in the blog post where you can actually download this template. Moving to the right, there are more information on, you know, uh, all the stuff that I talked about, how many purchased, how many amount and all that industry, um, total invested amount, what type of instrument, everything is available for you to as you scroll to the right. So this is our stock portfolio dashboard. And again, this is just the first version. I'm looking for feedback so I can keep improving um, on, on these uh, elements of the dashboard. And so I really look forward to your feedback. Now with this, we have completed 30 different Excel templates in this month. Uh, one template every day, one video every day in this channel. And I'm really glad that I was able to get through it to the 30 all through the 30 <laughs> templates, all the 30 templates, we've covered a lot. We started with the very simple, basic, you know, introduction to the stocks data type and, you know, how to build a price chart. And then we, you know, built some uh, market trackers. And then we moved into, you know, the technical indicators, a lot of technical indicators, all automated. And then we moved into even stock analysis um, type of templates, comparing stocks. Uh, stock screener and finally we have the portfolio tracker today we will have more templates coming soon um, so we are really thankful for all the support and uh, we look forward to continuing to produce more if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so so that you can be notified and if um, you find this content helpful useful please share with your friends i'll see you all in another video soon thank you very much for watching